back for another video. My name is Josh Kastik, and today this is my review for Daredevil uh, Season 3. So with Daredevil uh, Season 3, I watched it and, uh, well, I have to say it was fantastic. Um, you know, like, it just made sense and... It works well with, um, I think out of all the Netflix shows, I think definitely Daredevil is the best. I mean, um, the characters just really work. Um, it's unfortunately that there's not going to be a fourth season because I really would like to see what the fourth season got, uh, um, is going to be like. Um, it's interesting to see that uh, Matt finally finds out who his mother is. Um, that was interesting to, uh, see. Um, it also is, they introduced, um, kind of Bullseye. Um, however, he didn't get his costume yet. And so, um, you know, it's kind of interesting to, uh, it would have been interesting to see him wearing his suit. Unfortunately, there's not going to be a fourth season, and so we're probably not going to get that. Depends on what uh, Marvel is going to uh, get. I mean, what I mean, what Marvel is going to do with the character now, um, since it's no longer going to be on Netflix, and now they are allowed to use the character. So interesting to see what they do with it, um, and. You know, the dynamic that basically he kind of didn't want to be Matt Murdock anymore. He wanted just to be, but he also couldn't really be Daredevil per se because um, he couldn't wear the costume anymore because of the bullseye guy he was kind of wearing his co a costume kind of framing him. And Matt Murdock was also kind of being... Um, uh, frame two for our uh, situation so he's kind of really in a bad position so he had to kind of go back to his original costume of the or what he was wearing the first season and so you know it's kind of interesting to see how um, that played out I was also uh, surprised that they killed Father Langdon um, since considering that he is a really important character to Daredevil, um, so I did not see that coming. So that was also very surprising. Uh, Kingpin, uh, his grow to power to get released, getting control of the cops, um, and kind of manipulating Bullseye, or I forgot his name, um, Point Dexter, or something. I forgot his first name, but I know his last name is Point Dexter. Um, and so then you had this cop, uh, um, what's his name? Um, hmm. Forgot his name. Oh, well. Um, yeah, I kind of forgot his name, but he, he ends up dying at the end because, um, he tried to go against the kingpin, and it didn't end up well for him. Uh, however, they were able to uh, get um, kingpin, like, the bad things that the kingpin was doing, they were able to release it, and this will allow uh, kingpin to go to jail. Um, and, King, and kingpin is going to stay. Um, he basically agreed to stay in jail because you know you like he got out of jail before what's up him from going well he had Vanessa and see Vanessa uh play which is a kingpin's love uh, lover or and they love each other she uh dealt she was kind of she um helped in uh Playing the death of the cop that I mentioned earlier that was going to testify, which uh, he did testify. Unfortunately, Kingpin uh, basically found out who the jury people are and threatened them. And so they pleaded 
well, they plead non guilty. So, um, and and so that's kind of what was going on. So basically, uh, Daredevil um, was b essentially uh, framing, I mean, basically threatening to uh, put Vanessa away or her in some way if the Kingpin did not go to jail, okay, or stay in jail this time around. So, um, that was kind of an interesting uh, dynamic, and, um, uh, the overall part at the end, I think, if it was going to end, I th uh, the way it, it, the, the overall series was going to end, um, basically Matt Murdock and, with, well, Daredevil, with the help of his friends, uh, basically got him to stop being kind of in the rut that he was kind of in, where he didn't want to be Matt Murdock, he didn't want to, uh, be, uh, who he was, and so it was kind of interesting that his friends helped him get out of that rut, even though he was like, I don't want to be friends, I don't want to, I don't have friends, I don't need them, they just get away and get hurt, and I can't, um, but they were able to help him out of his rut, and they kind of reopened Matt, and they, uh, they reopened, uh, Murdoch, and, um, what's his name, um, forgot his last name, and I kind of forgot his first name. Come on. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Um, hmm. I should know what it is, and I can't put... Foggy. Nelson. Foggy Nelson. There we go. Nelson Murdoch, right there. Okay, so yeah. So we had Nelson and Murdoch, um, and then they basically added, um... A, a, pay, a Karen uh, to so you originally Karen uh, was um, just kind of a, a I wouldn't say sister I forgot what she was but for that but basically they rebranded to Nelson Murdoch and Paige and so they kind of re have that together and that that's I think a nice ending um, for its cancellation. However, they did have a hint. Well, see, basically what happened with Point Dexter is that basically Point Dexter is person he liked, or I don't know how you want to describe it. Um, he had this weird... Uh, how do I describe it? Um, connection, or like weird obsession that's like obsession over this girl um and uh basically kingpin had her killed and so now he's going after the kingpin well i was trying to kill him or trying to kill his lover um uh, uh, vanessa and stuff so basically the kingpin basically threw him against a wall, kind of breaking his back. And so at the end, um, people are kind of working on him, like fixing his back. And then you see into his eyes, and then the bullseye symbol appeared in his eyes. So hinting, he's becoming bullseye. And that was interesting, but unfortunately, they had to do that when it got canceled. <sighs> Unfortunately, another thing about Point Dexter is that he became an FBI agent, right? Uh, but he, ever since he was younger, he always had prob mental problems. He did have a therapist. Um, he accidentally killed uh, his parents or died, and I am he. I think he was a foster home, and he was on this team and he accidentally killed the coach because uh for some reason the coach got mad at him or something or i forgot exactly what it is and the thing with point dexter is that he doesn't miss hence bullseye and so whenever he got angry he 
through the baseball, okay, it hit the, it hit a wall, and then bounced and hit the coach in the head really hard, so I think he died. I'm not sure exactly, they weren't really clear on that, um, I, th that's kind of where they left it off, where he fell, so it's more uh, up to interpretation, um, and so, and then he, uh, in some, um, uh, recordings from his younger days in the, um, the time of right now, or the show, um, he basically talked about when he was younger that he killed some birds, and so he was kind of not mentally okay, and the kingpin kind of manipulated that. Um, and th that's, uh, that's how he, he kind of, throughout the show, he kind of started to break down more and more and more until, you know, he starts to cr get that bullseye persona. Um, and so that's kind of also interesting too. Um, overall violence or action, I think the action was really good and really surprisingly, there is some sequences with a lot of blood, but not as much as like first season. Like the first season, you literally see Kingpin throw a guy into a car several times until the guy's head falls off, and then you see the blood running down the car onto the ground. That was disturbing, and I can't tell you how disturbing that was. <laughs> okay, but. Overall, not as much blood in this season. I think that's much better. The action was really good. Um, so overall, I really like this season. I think definitely one of the best of the Marvel Netflix show series overall. Best season of Daredevil and best season, like I said, like out of all of them, and which really makes this series, like I said, the best one out of all of them. So. And like I said, I really liked it, and I also hope you, that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please leave a like. If you're new, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified for my next upload. And thank you. Goodbye.